Hello my friends, welcome to Home and Garden. If you are new to my channel, my name is Len and I live in zone A between A and B. So every month I give an update of my front yard and also my backyard garden. So today's video, I am going to give you an update of my front yard garden and this is for the July of 2023 front yard garden tour. So I have two levels of my front yard garden, the upper level and also the lower level. And also majority of the plants that you'll see later on, they are either evergreen or perennial plant. I add a lot of evergreen here in the front yard just because during the cold weather, all the perennial plants, they are going to dormant and I still want to see some colors during the cold weather. So evergreen is the best choice in here and we will point a lot of evergreen plants later on so you have an idea on which plant also for you to add it in your garden. And also, you, I didn't add any annual plant in here yet because I want you to have an idea on how to landscape your garden especially if you live in the cold weather so come on and let's start and check them out so before we start the garden tour for july of 2023 i want you to have an idea on how the garden look like in the far view and this is actually the lower level of my front yard and towards to this side i have the stairs and this is the upper level of my front yard garden so this is all the potted plants that I added next to my front door. I have the combination of this variegated hostas and also the variegated English ivy. And here, this is all the bushes of the azalea and I mirror this look and there's another one on that side and also this is the evergreen tree and it looks like a bonsai tree. And this is actually the centerpiece of my front yard. So toward to the side, I add the yucca, hostas, and English ivy. And this one with the pink flower, this is the endless summer hydrangeas. And I added also some evergreen plants and perennial plant primroses. And also the English ivy, they are evergreen plants. And the summer hydrangea, this is the perennial plants. So towards to this side, I created this space. That side, I added a lot of perennial plants as well too. And I have the yucca on the pot and also same plants but different type of hostas. And also combining with my decoration and also all these plants are evergreen and perennial. So this is all the different color blooms but again you're not seeing anything right now because they bloom like april so during springtime and also this bush over here this is the azalea bush so going back to this side this big bush that you're looking at right now this is the evergreen azalea and i have this border that i just planted last year this is the hellebores the Virginia and I alternate the two plants to just make it neat in here and then next to this big bush is actually the oriental lily and they're about to bloom there's a lot of flower buds and this is the close-up look of this dark pink lily and this is the blue hydrangea it's a lace hydrangea and there's a lot of bloom at this year. It's all around this bush are the beautiful lace hydrangea flowers. I have all these potted plants that I put it in the cement pots actually. This one is the mundu grass and a lot of these are also evergreen plants. And towards to here, Underneath this evergreen tree, I have the Virginia and a lot of perennial plants that I added as well, like the primroses. So this side, this is all the dark pink lily. And I have a lot of flower buds at this one. But look at this. They're so beautiful. The color, I really love it. And also... I propagate them, start propagating them early this year. I added also this day lilies next to them. And I have a collection of day lilies on the side garden, which is I'm going to show that to you later on as well. And this 
next one to the lily is also a day lily and look at this massive flower buds there's a lot and then I created a border of Virginia in here so all of this also are evergreen and then all in this top level are all perennial plant so I have this three over here starting to survive I plant that actually on the big pot but I transfer in the ground just to make sure that they can bloom or give me a lot of blooms and let's check it out and hopefully there's a lot of bloom at this time I can see some flower buds in here and this side and also here and I think this hibiscus also they bloom their bloom all only lasts for like a day it's like a day lilies so this path over here this is my water fountain illusion a water illusion from my front yard deck this is all the plants that I have it on the pot this is the big leaf hostas and also the primroses from more primroses on the pot they are done blooming and this is the view of all the bushes that's planted in the center garden and from here I have this grapevine that producing a lot of fruits actually and this beautiful endless hydrangea still blooming pretty in the pot and here's the close-up look of all the fruits of this grapes this one is actually the red grapes and there's a lot of fruit this year this is actually the first time that giving this massive fruits and I will give you an update of this once they get ripe and let's continue and take a look of all the other hanging plants into the front yard so here I added the ice plant, also a perennial plant and more ice plant, uh, orange one and pink actually. And this is the pink bloom of the ice plant. And I have the orange bloom onto the other one. And more ice plant in here. So stepping back a little bit, I'm giving you a view of this grape wine and more of the succulents that I added in the deck area and also I created this project added this creeping Jenny and also the primroses and this one is just made of wood so let's take a look of the side garden and show you all the different bloom of the daylilies. so this is the side garden and i have a lot of daylilies that planted in here and as you can see i have this red bloom and i have blue hydrangeas and pink one and purple this is a mix of summer and also the lace hydrangea and i alternate actually the hydrangea and the daylilies and a lot of my daily lilies at this time they are done blooming so again this is part of the front yard garden and upper level side and towards to that gate is going to my backyard and you can see all these beautiful blooms are the lace and also the summer hydrangea and daily leaf and hot dust. And then let's check and take a look all the other blooms on this side. And this one is the honeysuckle. And a lot of Virginia and also the lace hydrangea that I have planted underneath the honeysuckle and more of the big bloom of the oriental lily and then checking towards the front yard this bush is actually 
Azalea, and then I have Rhodey, and then again, I added a lot of primroses, Virginia, Fern, and more of the Azalea, and then these big bushes over here are different rhododendron and I can see there's a new bloom in here this is the butterfly plant there's more flower buds in here so before we check out the lower level of my front yard and also the front side of the front yard here is the quick look of the upper level garden So here is the lower level of my front yard garden and there's a lot of plants that you can see they're not in bloom because they are done blooming already and here is the side of my raised bed garden next to the driveway and I do have all this beautiful bloom these are actually a four row of the oriental lily tree and all of this plant that you're looking, this is the Irish, a border that I created, also done blooming, is the Asiatic Lily, and also the Evergreen Hellebores. And all of these plants, I created a different video when they're still actively blooming. So check that out and you'll enjoy it. So here is the closer look of the lily flowers. And this is about seven to eight feet tall and there's only actually like two bulbs onto this plant so one bulb have at least 20 flowers So all these plants are again evergreen and perennial plants. The big bushes, there are evergreen plants. And then the lily tree, of course, is perennial. Adding the Asiatic lily, the Irishes, fern, and hostas. So this is again the look, an update look of my front yard. And look at this big leaf variegated hostas and they have a lot of seeds already this are the flowers the white flowers and all this green one are the seeds so i actually collect all of the seeds and plant them rocket propagate them and i actually have a separate video of that as well check check it out if you want to learn how to plant hostas from seeds so again i have this big tree of the lily that's still actively blooming and I have this palm tree more hostas and I added this year added this fluff and hopefully they will bloom I planted this summer hydrangea in this big pot and they have few blooms remaining and this is actually a big bloom and this is the mature one and this is the new bloom they have the beautiful green and white and dark pink color and there's a lot of new shoots for next year so towards to this side i have also the blue bloom of the hydrangeas And also a lot of rhodi that's done blooming as well. And here is the landscape that I combined the fern 
Virginia. And also, this is the top side of my upper garden. You'll see the bonsai evergreen in here, the azalea, and I added all these landscape rocks, and then that's the stairs. And then towards to this side, I have a lot more of this rhododendron bush. And this is the evergreen bush as well, a flax, and also the hellebores. And then the flax, this is the pink scented flax. They're about to bloom as well. And I do have a lot of white flax that I planted in the side garden, but it's in the backyard. This is the full view of my front yard garden from the street. And a lot of them, again, you're not going to see a lot of bloom because I added a lot of perennial and evergreen plant. Uh, this time, July 2023, they're done blooming. And this, they don't bloom because this is a Japanese maple. This is the azalea and the rhododendron and more azalea on this side. They are done blooming for about June. And this is all the hydrangeas that's actively blooming at this time. And also an endless crush hydrangea. This is towards the center garden, and a lot of this bush is the evergreen bush, and also they don't bloom. And this is the common header, and azalea, that is again the Japanese maple. And Japanese maple's foliage, they turn to red during winter and fall time. So. I have also added the English ivy underneath this Japanese maple and I like the way that they flow actually. This is the far view, this is the water illusion uh, fountain that I just created as well and I added the Virginia as the border and then this bush and the other bush over here are all evergreen plants. So the main purpose in adding evergreen in my front yard garden is because I want color during cold weather because all the perennial plant that I've shown you a while ago, especially in this side garden, there are blooming uh, perennial, but then they go back to dormant and they they back and but they come back year after year. But all of this that you're looking, uh, even though during fall and winter time this is still the look of my garden and even though there's no bloom it's fine but they're still looking beautifully and adding color with all my landscape so my plan for next year is actually adding a lot of annual plant in between this evergreen bush so that I have a lot of colorful flowers that's still blooming. And again, I just show you this look of my garden here in the front yard. If you like this idea, you can also do this in your front yard and focus more on evergreen plant. And then it's easy to add the annual plants in between. But again, I really love it. This is the way that I want to design the garden. And you can adapt that too to your own garden. My most favorite part of this landscape is actually the Japanese maple. I really love it. The giving character in my garden and also their foliage changed to dark red and then turned to orange and then they will fall. So it looks bald, it looks bald during winter time, but the remaining, all these bushes in here, they're still green. They're staying green and adding color, and all of these are evergreen as well. And even this big bush over here is also evergreen.
So all this border bushes, this is also the red zelia, and then this is the pink rhodi roses in between, this is the mountain laurel, and then there's a lot of rhododendron that I added in here with different color. So my garden, this front yard garden, looks like also I combine with uh, Japanese uh, garden style because I use rocks and also some um, plant that uh, adding character to my garden. And this is again that looks like a um, plant that you'll see in the Japanese garden. Uh, this is the dwarf evergreen. That looks like a, of course, it's like a bonsai. And then I use also uh, some of the decoration that I use. Like this is the old water fountain. So I just created them and turned them to a planter and added a lot of succulents and also the flowering vines. So I hope you're enjoying my video, even though I don't have a lot of flowers to show you. But again, the main purpose of my video is to give you an update of my front yard garden for 2023 and i hope i can still see you for next month for the update and there's still a lot uh, of flowers actually that i expecting like this hibiscus over here and also uh, give you some more updates of all this big bloom of the lily and again this is my upper level of my front yard And I hope I can still see you for next video for more updates. If you don't subscribe to my channel yet, please subscribe. And also hit your notification bell so you will be notified when I have all the updated video. And also watch my other video for the individual plants that blooming. And you'll enjoy it and how they're doing prior to what they look right now. Like this one is actually all this big bush is azalea, but they have a big bloom white uh, blooms and all of this round one is all like flowers and that's one of the video that I created and you will enjoy it and that's it for the update of my garden tour for July of 2023 and I'll see you on my next video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit your notification bell so you will be updated to all my videos and I'll see you on my next video you take care